What's good, YouTube? What's poppin'? It's your boy Diverse, you know what I mean? Just wanna come with y'all to come come at y'all with another um, you know what I mean, um, a nice um message for y'all. Um, as far as just not using, not letting fear overcome you, overcoming your fears, and becoming more independent, not being dependent, not thinking that we need other people to validate us. We need other people to help us. We need other people to feed us, help us out when times get tough. We don't need other people, y'all. What we need is God, really. You know what I'm saying? That's really all we need. Keep it 100, keep it 1,000. Because for one, for one, it's God that supplies all our riches. It's God that supplies all our riches according to his, um, it's God who supplies all our needs according to his riches and glory. You know what I mean? It's God who provides every day. It's God that wakes you up. It's God that, that, um, <clears throat> um, feeds you. It's God that wakes you up every day. It's God that blesses you. It's God that gives you the lessons and the blessings, the lessons and the blessings every day to help you keep moving and keep going and keep, you know what I'm saying? Um, staying focused on your goals. You know what I mean? And I got to charge this watch up, man. Ten percent. Um. So yeah. Um. You know, you might be in a position in your life like um. I know. I know. I am where you know I'm going through a transitioning period. You know what I mean? Where um. I'm starting to understand in myself that I'm no longer the same person that I was. Um. Bef like last year or the years before that, um, I'm a person that that values working out every day, that ver values exercising every day, that um, doesn't overeat, that doesn't overindulge. Um, I'm a person that um, definitely has practiced the uh, form of discipline the last year. You know what I'm saying? As far as my body, as far as my um, um, what I'm consuming, I'm doing, I'm doing sea moss every day. Um, you know what I'm saying? Exercising, running, running at least my, I'm running miles damn near every day. You know what I'm saying? And night sometimes. Um, I just changed my whole regiment to be able to, um, hear from God more, to be able to heighten my frequency, to be able to raise my vibration. Um, and when you start to do those things, when you start to diet, when you start to exercise, when you start to clean up some of the old ways of living for your temple, for your body, you start to hear from God more. You start to open up more. You start to see things more vividly. You start to see through bullshit a lot more, a lot, a lot through people's deception. You start to see deceptive people and you start to know how to encounter those people. You start to know how to deflect away from those people. You know how not to give them your energy and let them come into your vibration and mess up your frequency and, and your vibration and your momentum. You know what I'm saying? So life is almost like this little game. It's like the matrix. You know what I'm saying? Like how I, I'm listening to other videos and it, it's definitely exactly like people have explained on these videos. It's like, you know, like you in the matrix and it's like, you're the only one that's unplugged from the video game. You're the only one that sees life for what it is. You see the bullshit, you see the lies, you see the deception. And you're tired of it and you want something new. You're changing up your vibe. You're doing other things. You're not doing what the the majority are doing. You're doing what the minorities are doing. You're doing the opposite. And God damn and, and, and God forgive me for, for cursing. But damn it, they don't like when you do the opposite. They don't like when you don't do the normal. They people, the rest of the sheep don't like when you try to go away from the herd and and be a shepherd. They don't like that. You know what I'm saying? They don't like when you, you know, they don't, they don't like the, they don't like you growing and doing something different. People like being comfortable. People like the comfort of the normal, normalcy. Um, people are fearful of changing up their habits. People are fearful of changing up their tactics. People are fearful of changing up their way of thinking. Instead of thinking, oh, okay, I got this amount of money and it's decreasing, it's declining. Instead of saying, damn, I'm blessed. I'm grateful. Practice being grateful. You know what I'm saying? 
We got to start practicing being more grateful for the things that we have. Even when it's the smallest minute of nothing, we still got to feel that we're the highest supreme being of all. We still got to walk in the frequency of king, walk in the frequency of being a king, walk in the frequency of, for my women, being a queen. You know what I'm saying? We have to walk in the frequency of success no matter what your circumstances is. That way you're going to attract all the things you want. You're going to stay in the vibration of God saying, seeing you and your angels seeing you and you staying steadfast, unmovable. Always abounding in God, always walking forward, always never stopping, never getting derailed, staying at it. You don't think your angels and God see you still staying the pace, no matter what stop you, no matter what obstacles that's coming your way, you still moving forward. You still moving forward. And that's what life is about. We have to keep on going. No matter how much money we got, no matter how bad situations they got, no matter what happened, who hated who robbed you, who who did, who, no matter what is going on in your life, we still have to be positive. We still have to look for the lesson in the blessing. We still have to look for the lesson. It's always a lesson, no matter what we go through, it's something we can learn from. It. We just got to figure it out. We got to find out what it is that um that's being spoken to us. What is it that's happening? What is it that we can learn from this situation to change? You know what I'm saying? So we definitely got to be start being more grateful for the things that we have. I don't care how small it is. I don't care how big it is. We still have to keep the same frequency of gratefulness, the same frequency of um, wanting more and, 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 and hoping for more. And wanting more and having a plan and a vision in play to accomplish more. You know what I'm saying? You have to keep moving. Don't let stumbling blocks stop you. Don't let doubt, fear, or what if, or what's not going to happen, or what if this happens, or what if that happens. You have to be able to get out your comfort zone and take risks. That's the only way I feel in my in my own way um, of things that I've been through that God is going to take a foot towards you. You got to take a foot towards God. You got to show God that you got faith enough to move forward. You got to show God that you got faith. If you show God that you got faith the size of a mustard seed, then he's going to take 20, 30, 40, 50, 100 steps towards you. So you got to show God that you're willing to go the extra mile, that you believe in yourself, that you believe in God, that you believe that everything is going to be all right. And then you will see that everything is all right. Everything was, all, I was always doing the right things. I was always walking down the right paths. No matter how crazy it looked, no matter um, what I don't see on the other side, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you just got to have faith and just go. Sometimes you got to have just faith and just say, man, you know what? I'm going to change this shit up. I, I'm, I, you know what? I've been doing the same thing so long, man. I'm, I'm going to change this shit up and do something different. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know what? I ain't never did this, but I'm going to try it out anyway, just to see where I'm, where I can end up. You know what I'm saying? And you never know that conversation, that meeting, that trip that you take, that decision that you make could be the, the, the main thing that you needed to change your life all around. But you will never know if you stay still. You will never know if you stay stagnated and never go towards what you know you're supposed to do, man. So that's really the main thing in this message, really, is what I'm trying to say. Let me like this L. Damn, I ain't no lighter. Anyway, I ain't got no lighter up here. So, but basically what I want to tell y'all is to just stay the course. Stay the course. Keep moving forward. Don't let nobody derail you. Don't get doubtful. Don't get fearful. Don't look at your money and be like, oh, it's, 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 it's deep. No, look at what you can do to add to it. Look at what you can create to add to the money you have. Look at the, look at the things that you can build to create something great. So you, so, so you will never think about money. I want to get to the point where money is not even an option. I want to get to the point where I know I'm going to attract money. I know I'm going to go make a lot of money today. I know I'm going to go impact somebody today. I know that I'm going to receive 
No matter if it's today, tomorrow, next week, next month, next year, I know that I'm moving in the vibration. I know that I'm not going to stop. I know that I'm going to create whatever I can to fulfill my purpose. I'm going to walk in my purpose no matter what the storm is, no matter what the situation is. And we got to be strong like that. We got to wake up. We got to start believing in ourselves and understanding that we got the power. The power is in you. Stop thinking that, if, that stop giving other people the power to control you. Stop giving other people the power to, to, to say what you can do or what you can't do or say what you are. Call, you know, let, let's, let's start believing in ourselves a lot more. Let's start believing in ourselves a lot more. Let's start moving in our purpose and stop being stagnated. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I, I'm just trying to encourage y'all. You know what I mean? I'm really encouraging myself as well. But I know that these words is going to be able to help someone out there. You know what I'm saying? So that's all I want to say, y'all, man. Peace and love to y'all. Um, stop this video on 11-11. Peace and love. God bless.